Hey everybody, welcome in. Garbage time sports and the NBA playoffs is really starting to heat up now. Let's go to the Minnesota Timberwolves versus the Denver Nuggets. I thought Denver came out and just looked more desperate than Minnesota. And that makes a lot of sense. It is really hard for the team that is up 2-0 the Minnesota Timberwolves, to match the desperation of the team that is down 0-2, which was the Denver Nuggets. It's really hard for the team that's up to match the intensity level and the effort of the team that's down 0-2, especially the team that has as much talent as the Denver Nuggets. Obviously, Denver is talented. They're the number two seed in the West. Champions last year, they brought everybody back outside of Bruce Brown, and you can tell that hurt their bench depth quite a bit. But all of the starters are still there, and we just saw them play beautiful basketball to beat the Lakers in five. We know all the talents there, and now the Nuggets are desperate. And now they're playing like they have their backs against the wall for the first time in a very long time. Jamal Murray came out smoking really good first quarter after not doing anything the last two games, especially in the first half. He came out red hot, ready to play after that very iffy game too. I thought the Timberwolves came out flat. The crowd was in it. The crowd was ready to go, but the T-Wolves just weren't matching the intensity that they did in Denver whenever they were came up coming in as the underdog. But then they hear about themselves too much on ESPN, on Fox Sports, on all of the podcasts. Everybody starts talking about how the Timberwolves are just better than the Nuggets. And I'm not sure that's true. I'm not sure the Timberwolves are just flat out better than the Nuggets. I still like the Nuggets' talent overall better than the T-Wolves. But the T-Wolves catch Denver at the right time. They get a couple of referee crews that allow them to play aggressive, which I love, by the way. I love aggressive, tough, physical basketball. The Nuggets obviously don't. They take a 2-0 lead, and all of a sudden, they start feeling themselves a little bit, and there's no longer that desperation that was there in Game 1 and 2 for the Minnesota Timberwolves. The referees called Game 3 a lot tighter than 1 and 2 had been called, and that's changed dramatically of how the Timberwolves defended and how they played and how the Nuggets got more and more comfortable with the refs calling it a little bit tighter, getting a few calls, and getting back in their flow of what the beautiful basketball that they usually play. Anthony Edwards, he played fine, 8 of 15 shooting, a very efficient night once again. He's always been efficient in this playoffs. He's been fantastic. What I would like to have seen from Anthony Edwards is to be a little more aggressive, be a little more isocentric whenever he feels his team going down. Because a lot of his shots, I would argue almost all of his shots, come within the flow of the offense. But whenever that offense is not working, whenever they're not getting looks they want created by the natural flow of their offense, I would like to see him take over a little bit more. Hey, give me the ball, guys. I'm going to go at them these next three possessions. Get us five to six to seven points, and we're going to get back in this game. I'm going to match them shot for shot for a little bit here until we can find something that works offensively. That's just something, that's a feel thing. That's something that he's still learning. He's obviously still very young. That was the type of game that he needs to say, hey, give me the ball for these next few possessions. Let me go to work. Let me get this, Get let me get us back in this, and then we'll resume to our regular programming. That'll come very young, very young in the playoffs, and Anthony Edwards is obviously going to be fantastic, and he still played very well, but even he said after the game, he blamed himself for the loss. He said, I came in sluggish. I was not the leader that I needed to be. I relaxed a little bit because we're up 0-2, and Anthony Edwards knows what he needs to fix going into the next game. Minnesota is still in control. They stole home court all they have to do is go win game four, go up 3-1, and then they have three chances to close out the Nuggets. And if they go up 3-1, I think they're absolutely going to win this series. But let's talk about that game four, because I think this game four is absolutely pivotal. I think whoever wins this game four is going to win the series. If Denver ties this back up, it's hard to believe that Minnesota is going to be able to get up off the mat heading back to Denver. And I know they just beat them two times in a row, but again, I think this is going to go from desperation of Minnesota whenever they were in Denver for the first two games to kind of, oh my gosh, how did we let this lead slip away against these guys? And almost kind of a panic for a, not a ton of experience on this team. What I'm watching in game four tonight is I want to take a hard look at how the refs call this game. I think that's going to be very important. And I know it's not fun to talk about the officials. I know it's not right to talk about how they do their job. 
But the truth is there are crews that are going to let you play a little more and there are crews that are not going to let you play. And there are crews that are going to call more bump fouls, more tap fouls than others. And if we get an official crew that is going to call it tight, that is advantage Denver. And if we get a crew that's going to call it a little looser, that is advantage Timberwolves. Timberwolves are a much better defensive team, rough and tough, up in your grill. If they let them rough up the Nuggets, we saw in game one and two how that affects things and how Minnesota really feeds off of that because then Denver gets frustrated. Denver turns the ball over more than they're expecting. Denver doesn't make as many shots as usual because everybody's just a little off balance because they're a little bit worried about getting hit. Anybody who's played basketball knows, as a shooter, the worst thing in the world is having someone just right up in you. You're worried about where your feet are going to land. You're worried that you're going to come down on somebody a little bit wrong. Nobody likes to have somebody under you whenever you're shooting. And if Minnesota can play up into Denver and really get after them, that is going to be tough on Denver like we saw in game one and two. So the officials are the first thing I'm going to watch. Second thing I'm going to watch, how aggressive is Anthony Edwards? Is Anthony Edwards going to come out and say, hey, this is my team. This is my run. We are not giving up this 2-0 lead. We're about to go up 3-1 right here. And if I have to put this entire team on my back, I am going to do that offensively and defensively. Everybody get on my back, match my intensity. Let's go get this win for our home crowd on Mother's Day. The team is going to go as Edwards go. They have a lot of talent to support Edwards, but Edwards has to be the catalyst for the Minnesota Timberwolves. I want to see him be a little more aggressive in game four. And then the other thing I'm watching, we have not had a big time, totally outstanding Jokic game yet in this series or really in the Lakers series. You know, we've had some average Jokic games, which his average is better than 99% of the entire league, you know, 24 points. 13 rebounds, 9, 10 assists. That's just a normal Jokic game. But we haven't had that outstanding Jokic game. We haven't had that 36, 21, and 12 type game that Jokic can put up every once in a while whenever you allow him to. So I think we still have a level to go up with Nikola Jokic, and I'm interested to see him do it in game four to make sure that they tie this thing up at 2-2 and take it back to Denver in a very tight series. That would be a ton of fun if this thing goes back 2-2 all the way home to Denver. Last note I want to make about the Denver Nuggets is they are extremely, extremely tough to beat at all. But when Aaron Gordon is hitting threes, they are impossible to stop. He's kind of the weak link on the offense that can't quite shoot it as well as the others. You're not so worried about a kick out going to Gordon. You're worried about him in the dunker spot, but that's easier to defend than Aaron Gordon out beyond the perimeter. And most of the time, teams will let him shoot. But Aaron Gordon going three for four from three, if that happens, the Nuggets are going to win. If Aaron Gordon starts hitting threes, it is game over, no matter what Minnesota does. I'm looking forward to the game. My prediction for... This game, I just have a hard time counting out the Nuggets. I just do. I've watched too much basketball over the past two years. I'm not just going to write off Nikola Jokic. I'm not going to write off that entire Nuggets starting five. That is just awesome at closing out games, closing out tight games whenever we do get one of those in this series. I have a hard time picking against Denver. I know Minnesota has the guys to rough them up. I know Minnesota has the guys to get this done. I This was a seven-game series. I always called it in seven. But Denver, Denver's just so hard to bet against. I'm probably going to go with Denver here in Game 4. Might put a little bet on it myself just to see what happens. For all of us here at Garbage Time Sports, Joe Schatz signing off. Have a great one.